Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to pair a phone or tablet to the on compact wireless Bluetooth keyboard and I'll go through this step by step. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know that I do have another video on this keyboard where I go through the setup process and give my review of this keyboard. And I'll link that video at the end of this one. And if you're interested in have time, please check that video out. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to turn the keyboard on and the on off switch is right on the side here. So I'm going to turn that to the on position. And then we have three different Bluetooth indicator lights. Here's Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2, and Bluetooth 3. And if the light is solid blue, that means that there's already a paired device on that channel. So like in this case on Bluetooth 1, there's already a paired device. So you can have up to three different Bluetooth devices paired to the keyboard and to move to the second Bluetooth channel, we're going to press and hold the function and W buttons at the same time. And now we can see that it's on Bluetooth two. And when it's flashing blue like that, it means that the keyboard is ready to be paired. And then to move to Bluetooth channel three, we're going to press the function and E buttons at the same time. And now you can see that we're on Bluetooth channel three. And then to move back to Bluetooth channel one, we're going to press the function and Q buttons at the same time. And now you can see that we're back on Bluetooth channel one. And if you wanna remove a Bluetooth device from the keyboard, you just need to select the Bluetooth channel that you wanna remove the device from. In this case, we're on Bluetooth channel number one. And then you're going to press the function and C buttons at the same time to remove the Bluetooth device from the keyboard. And when the keyboard is in pairing mode, you wanna make sure that the phone or tablet that you're trying to pair to the keyboard is close to the keyboard, that way they can communicate properly. And the keyboard will show up in the Bluetooth menu under available devices as compact wireless keyboard. And when you're all done using the keyboard, make sure to turn it to the off position, that way you save battery power. All right, guys, that was it for this video. I hope it's been helpful and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have another video where I review and go through the full setup process of this keyboard. And I'll link that video at the end of this one. And if you're interested and have time, please check that video out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.